I think every beginner needs to have these things, either a logbook or an app or some way to track your workouts. Okay, you need a water bottle, you need athletic shoes, you need gym clothes, and you need headphones because let's face it, most gyms, the music pretty much always sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so unless you're at a small like mom and pop kind of gym that actually plays heavy metal or something, um, the, the yeah, working out to- The weekend, Justin Bieber. Yeah. I'm, Good for you, Justin Bieber. Um, I'm a Justin Bieber fan, but I know yeah, you aren't. So. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I like the guy. I really, really do. It's, it's just not what I need to hear when I'm um, trying to hit a PR. So <laughs> um, so you don't need all the latest cable attachments, weight belts, powerlifting shoes, all that stuff like this. Um, but as you do advance in your training, I think that the following items will be really helpful because they've been really helpful to me and are by no means essential to start, but uh, I believe are wise investments as you progress, as your budget allows. So I'm gonna share with you five tools right now that I use for bodybuilding training, okay? First one is a high quality weight belt. I use the Inzer Forever Lever Powerlifting Belt. It's a little over a hundred bucks, so it's definitely investment, an investment, but it's got a lifetime warranty, it's industry standard. Again, of course, I'm not affiliated with it, with, with these guys in any way, I wish I was. Yeah, um, you're, uh, the lever broke and they just sent you a new one. Yeah, because I was, you know, slamming it down after, oh. whenever I get a PR, I like slam it on the ground. Like, yeah, because I'm like amped that I got a PR. And so enough times of doing that, it, um, the, one of the, oh. The thing that you hook into the. Yeah, one, one of the hooks snapped off, you know, which is just, I mean, it's, it's steel, but of course it'll do that after that many times of you slamming on the ground. So it snapped off and so I called the company and told them about it and they just sent me a new one. Yeah. Um, so it's got a lifetime warranty on it. And uh, yeah, you can go it's to worth the investment. Inzernet.com. I-N-Z-E-R-N-E-T.com. They have like 20 different colors. I have a, I have a hot pink one. Yep. Uh, yeah. Any color you want, they, cost, they, they, they make them to order. Very, very good company. It's the industry standard for weightlifting belts. Okay. Um, number two out of five is wrist straps. Um, and, and I'm going to throw chalk into this category too. Um, you can use it for pulling movements. Um, any local good sporting store should have these things. Don't limit your back and your shoulder to your grip strength. Okay. So when you use wrist straps, that helps you to be able to pull, to be able to hit your back, your shoulders, whatever muscle that you're pulling with, um, and not limit yourself to your forearms because your forearms are never going to be as strong as your bigger, um, main muscle groups. So. As you advance, that's definitely something that's a good investment. Again, just a few bucks. Um, any local good, any, any local sporting goods store should have them. Um, I would say to, to, you can go online and get them, but we like to support small local businesses, right? Mm -hmm. So go find a small local business and support them. Um, don't limit your back and your shoulders to your grip strength. I already said that. Oh, um, the deltoid desolator. That's one of the reasons that we invented our uh, our cable attachment, which you can find on our website, supersetlive.com. Um, save 10% if you book a coaching call. Um, it's a cable attachment that we made that's extra long that's made out of silicone skulls on the end because it's easy to grab and so you don't have to grip it hard like you do with the cheap ropes that are there with the other cable attachments you can nail your shoulders you can nail your your, your back your lats your triceps whatever it is that you're hitting with it it looks badass and uh it's just a, it's, just, it's just a fun thing that um we're kind of proud of so <laughs> Uh, that's our that's our latest Blood, sweat and tears yep yep making those things every day still taylor hand braids them all right, and then um, chalk. I'll put that in, in the same category too. Same thing. It helps you with your with with your grip strength. It's, it's really really cheap. Um, Google weightlifting chalk. Um, any local sporting goods store, like rock climbing stores, you know these places have chalk. Um, <laughs> chalk. You can get addicted to it though. And I'm not even kidding. Like I went through a phase in my in my lifting. Do you remember that? Where I was literally like I had chalk on every, every single exercise day. at the gym. I just felt like I always needed it. And your head chalk all over your clothes. Yeah, and... yeah. I mean, ch chalk addiction is is real, but I guess of, of all the white powders in the world, I could be addicted to. <laughs> chalk is the worst. That's the one to be addicted to. Yeah. All right. Number three is power wraps and knee sleeves. I'm going to categorize both in the into one because they're they kind of serve the same purpose. Um, supports your wrists and your knees respectively. Um, I feel stronger when I use these, and it really helps with some joint pain, so you can push yourself harder. Uh, really popular among power lifters. Even, even for curls too, not just pressing movements. Powerlifting shoes. And I put a question mark next to this because you may or may not need them with, depending on your genetics. I mean, if you can- I don't need them. Yeah, Taylor doesn't need them. You know, if you can squat barefoot, um, just keep doing that. You know, why would you buy something really, really expensive that you don't necessarily need? Um, I, 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 I did buy some because I have long femurs and so it helps me to get lower. 
Um, but the the Addy Power is the ones that I got. I mean, they're great shoes, but you know what? I, I still prefer just barefoot. Even over that, I'll just put a two by four underneath my heels and a two by four. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I do at home. You know, at the gym, you like you can stand on weight plates and see a lot of guys doing that. And um, there's nothing bad about it. It's not bad form. Like some people genet genetically by their bone structure just don't have the mobility to go down all the way without their heels being elevated. And I happen to be one of those people. Taylor's not. So. I'm no. also a foot shorter than you, so I think that helps. <laughs> Nike makes some good squat shoes too. So yeah, they're, they're, they're still not necessary. You know, all strongest deadlifters, they, they pull barefoot. All the strong, all, all, all the biggest deadlift work, um, de deadlift records in the world, um, they're barefoot. So cable attachments, <laughs> this is my favorite one. Mag grips, maximum advantage grip, not affiliated with these guys either. Again, wish I was. Wish we could. Yeah, M-M-A-G, maximum advantage grip. Uh, these things are, oh, they're, they're, they're brilliant. They're, they just, the, the, they, they nailed the wrist angles. You, you don't wrap your thumbs all the way around. The material. They, yeah. The material, like they're, they're, they're nice and grippy so that you don't, again, you're not limited by your grip strength, uh, works wonders on your back. You'll never use a cheap cable attachment again. If you, if you have some of these. So if you if your local gym doesn't have them, you can bring them back and forth into the gym. Like I did for, for years, um, they have seven different attachments and I have been using the the same three three for the for the last couple of years and I'd literally be making like multiple trips in and out of the gym every time I would hit back just to just to bring all these things in with me but the these things I was we, both of Taylor and I were bringing them into Golds and sharing them with our friends and stuff and everybody was using them and finally the owner of Golds was like hmm, how can I make my gym better I really really respect this guy too because that's the kind of effort that he puts into his gym and he wants it to be a place where people enjoy working out and it's not just like an, another stupid commercial gym like it's actually it's it's actually a gym where like he wants to up. yeah you know he wants he, he wants to create um he, he wants to create a community there and he's really really done a great job like yeah. it's a it's a very motivating place to work out and so um he went and bought a whole bunch of them because he saw how popular they were and how how much everybody else liked them so <laughs> uh yeah mad grips at gold's gym in hazeldale washington everybody all right and then, uh, and then the deltoid desolator, of course, <laughs> we, 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 we bring, we bring these, these things, our skull cable attachment um, in, into the gym. And yeah, I forgot mine yesterday. I was pissed too. I like, oh, that's the worst. I know. I like, didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, man, that's the first thing I use to pump up my triceps and my lats and oh. my rear delts and everything. And I was just like, I had to use all the machines. I was like, this is how everybody else has to work mm -hmm. out that doesn't have one of these. <laughs> okay.